Last topic. I think it's a pretty poetic way to end, but what is it? Kamaru Usman versus say the word. Who? G S P. Wow. Not my topic idea, his topic idea, but it's it's a fun idea. It is fun. It's fun. Like uh, Kamaru Usman ha- just broke um, GSP streak of longest win streak in welterweight history in the, in the UFC. He's 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 been winning. He's been fighting for a long time. Like Dude, he doesn't get like the respect that like he deserves. Like he's fought a lot of top guys. If you if you look at like the top welterweights, the only person that he's really not fought and beat, well he's beat everybody. But the only person he hasn't fought is Stephen Boy. That's basically the only person left. There's an argument for him to be P for P. P for P? There's an argument, man. He's beat Covington. He's beat, as you're saying, Woodley. Yeah. He's beat Jorge. Yeah. He's beat, who else he beat? He beat Burns, right? Mm. This guy's ran through the whole division. Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards. He's ran through the whole division. Yeah. You think at some point you got to give him that respect. Pound for pound, I, I don't know yet because uh, in this welterweight, in the Walter di- division itself, uh, he still has, uh, he, he has to f- fulfill, like, uh, uh, he has to like so prove himself. To be, yeah, yeah, there's still yeah. questions about whether or not he's better than the other, like uh, uh, Walter Wade go, and that's GSP. Yeah. Like GSP, yes, he broke his win streak, but was uh, his legacy greater than than GSP's? I, I don't know. Look, it's funny that we say this because even though if GSP was to come back, mm-hmm. I would bet like the house that he's not gonna fight a Walter Wade again. He's gonna fight the Khabib fight. That's the only way he comes back. He would not come back for Osman. Right, if we're being honest here, it would be a sick fight Why to not? watch. It'd be a sick fight to watch. I just don't see it happening because there's there's such a big fight at lightweight with Khabib, yeah, or at catchweight maybe. You know, mm-hmm. just catchweight, but I don't see it happening at like welterweight. So so, uh, GSP has said that making 155 is very difficult for him, especially at the his big age. Dude, right? Yeah. So he's basically saying that I really don't want to or can make uh, 155 without compromising my uh without compromising my performance and my abilities Stamina. and stuff like that so what if instead you don't go to 155 you go to 170 and you go back to uh face the guy that just broke your streak he just uh beat your streak and is considered maybe the greatest welterweight of all time but when you hear gsp talk in these interviews he's he's always like listen i want to fight that it has to make sense uh-huh yeah, I guess you could say, you know, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But like, yeah. we, we've heard about the Khabib fight for so long now that it would just feel weird. And it would feel yeah. like a slap to the face of the fans for mm-hmm. him to come back and not fight Khabib, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah I'm sure. I, I'd rather see the Khabib versus GSP rather than Khabib versus Kamaru. But if Kamaru, if that did hap- uh, that fight did happen, I wouldn't be mad, right? Yeah. Like, it, it, it's a really good matchup. Um, they both are really good uh, wrestlers. Now, does it go where it does it go similar to what Colby Covington and Kamaru Usman uh, fight went where both of them basically agree uh, in the cage that we're not going to try to grapple each other. Uh, if there is anything, it's not going to be uh, anything too, too serious. It's all going to be stand up. And if you consider that it's all, it's all going to be stand up. Do you really think GSP is going to lose? Usman, no way. GSP, yeah. listen, bro. GSP coached by Faraz Sahabi. You think this guy, the goat, the goat, the, right, the amazing coach, him, he himself has amazing striking. You think he's gonna lose to, to, like him in striking? There's no way. Mm. GSP, so now you're disrespecting Kamaru. Superman punch, everything. This guy would would lay waste to Osman on the feet. With that's, the, with that's the jab, my well, with what? The Superman jab. See, uh, Kamaru Osman, we talked about uh, earlier today. Uh, we talked about Kamaru Osman in his striking. Uh, what we've seen where he's had the most success is not in combinations. Uh, he doesn't have the, the fastest hand speed uh, when it comes to combinations, nor does he uh, have the ability to, um, let's say he throws, if he's, he, he throws a feint, um, he, he exits, right? He pulls and encounters it. Like he's, he's not, he's not Conor McGregor, for example, he's right? A- he's not, uh, his game doesn't, um, so, sur- uh, doesn't revolve around having this dynamic striking game it's very very uh, very very straightforward and very very fundamental right yeah, like Khabib, basically. he's he's uh he's in an orthodox position and he just sticks you with his jab right very very powerful jabs that just constantly hit you over and over and over and because he has such long reach compared to a lot of these welterweights he's able to connect and uh, avoid getting countered uh, 
but all these guys with like the, with their with the wrestling bases, what they usually do is that they is they fake the takedown and then they just throw their overhand right. Yeah. Right? So what happens so, when um, some like a like the Co- Colby Covington matchup, mm-hmm. they basically agreed in the in the cage that we're not going to wrestle each other. So now bring in GSP. Do you think GSP even entertains the idea of being able to take down Kamaru? I mean, he could if he wanted to. I don't know. GSP but that, that's the thing. Like, Nobody's ever taken down Kamaru Usman. I'm not saying it's not. If it's there impossible. was a guy, it would be GSP, right? But do you think he would use all that energy and time to to try to take him down? Like, if you take him down, to to what end? Like, like what is your goal in in taking him down? Do you try to wear him down on the ground to ground and pound? His cardio is very very high. So, uh, wouldn't it make more sense to stay on the feet and try just to pick him apart? I guess you would if you were a GSP. Yeah. But even then, if it stays on the feet, man, like. GSP would just kill us on. Like there's, yeah. there's, there's no way for for him to to match him, in, like in striking. Yeah. There's so no th- th- there's a power difference though, right? So uh, one thing we we will give Kamaru, or w- what I'll give Kamaru is, Kamaru is a lot more powerful with yeah. his with his strikes. Uh, a lot of that has to do with with that one strike te- uh, te- approach, where he's like sticking you with with a lot of power. Like he's not he's not Max Holloway. Well, he'll he'll throw like fifty percent into some of his shots right he'll just like throw uh, like eight like a seven eight uh, strike combo he is basically throwing like 70 80 percent Kamaru in every uh, one of those single strikes so uh, GSP uh, is is uh, similar to he can do what Kamaru does where he's able to stick you with the jab it's a little bit different though because uh, GSP will bo- uh, jump back in and out of range yeah. and hit you with a jab and exit. He'll hit you with a jab, exit. He'll hit you with a body kick, exit. He's He'll out hit you body right? kick. Yeah, That's what he is, he's right? much more diverse. Uh, now, does that does he still have that at the age of 39 years old? I, I, I don't know. That's the biggest problem, right? Is that like he's... But he looks like he does. He looks like he does. Have you seen like his, uh, his Instagram page? Yeah, yeah. This guy's yeah. very active too, right? Yeah, so he's, he's, he's constantly training. He doesn't stop training. He's... Like he's fasting a lot. He's like he's a lot more into like uh, into like gymnastics now, right? He's always into gymnastics. Well, he yeah. always was, right? But now he's more into like 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 into water and everything. So yeah, well, I remember uh, when he was doing gymnastics for one of his fights. Uh, he commented, he's like, it's it's good, but there's some things that, that hinder my performance. What do you mean? Um, like he was talking about, I think maybe it was a cardio or strength wise. It wasn't the most ideal, so he had to like uh, pull back on some of the gymnastics. Uh, but now that he's not fighting fight camp or anything, I, I guess he's doing a lot more gymnastics. Yeah. Um, this fight, it could happen. Uh, I don't think there's much uh, intrigue from the UFC side. Uh, it's like they already did a similar type of situation. It would do numbers though, right? Like if it, if it yeah, I, I would say it would probably be around the same as uh, Bisping fight. A Bisping fight. Yeah. I think so yeah. I, I think uh, I think it'd be a little bigger because I think yeah. with, the, with the whole story of like how he. Like he took his streak and everything, but even then, yeah, I would agree. But with even that. then, it's yeah, it's, it's not like it's, a big video. It's yeah. not that big of a. Yeah. It's a it's a streak. Yeah, I get it. He's he's. What we're saying is that GSC, if you come back, Khabib. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I I want to see the Khabib fight. It's just the weight stuff is is very very hard to get over. Like, like where does it happen? Catch weight. And catch weight means like you, then then it's not for a title anymore. Right. And Habib has said, like, OK, I, I want this for a title. I if he wants to fight me, he has to come down this way. And then it's a, it's a game and ship. Right. It's 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 that as well as politics, like the UFC and, and stuff. But come on, we that would be a fun fight. Uh, we can we can try to put in like the UFC game and, <laughs> and see That'd what happens. <laughs>